Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Old Man G here, back again with another video for Red Devil Studio. And oh my goodness, we're talking about Bruno Fernandes again. I thought I was done with Bruno Fernandes' um, talk, but there has been a latest update. There's some latest news that, that has just come in regarding Bruno Fernandes. But before we get into the news, if you're new to the channel, please like, share and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, we United X. Support us on Patreon, link is in the description. Join our Discord community and have a look at our Red Devils You Live podcast on iTunes and Spotify now. Stay tuned for Red Devils You Live this uh, today at 8 p.m. UK time. And um, yeah, support us. So anyway, let's get into the news here regarding Bruno Fernandes. So yes, um, according to reports, now this has been obviously carried by the Daily Express, which um, as many of you guys know is, is, is sort of a, a questionable newspaper. Um, but they are quoting from the Portuguese press that Manchester United um, have been heavily linked again of showing strong interest in Bruno Fernandes ahead of the January transfer window. Um, obviously, um, you know, he's, he's, he signed a new contract with Sports and Lisbon, not that that will stop Manchester United regard, regardless. Um, but according to the Portuguese, new pay, uh, Portuguese newspaper outlet Ojogo, they basically said the United are pushing very hard to sign the midfielder when the transfer window reopens next month. And of course, we all know United need mid midfielders. Of course, Fred and McTominay have shown in recent days that they're quite a good partnership. Um, but we do need that attacking midfielder. And, and Pogba being injured for as long as he is, we do need that player that can really take us to the next level, um, which we don't seem to sort of have currently. You know, Sans Pogba, who's injured, Lingard and Pereira don't seem to fit the bill. So really, along with Haaland, who we'll obviously talk about later, when you think about players that might be available in the transfer window, Bruno Fernandes obviously fits that bill, and Ojogo, the Portuguese newspaper, say that United are pushing quite hard to sign the midfielder when the transfer window opens. They haven't given a specific a transfer fee per se, but that United are on course for trying to lure Bruno Fernandes um, away, giving uh, and submitting a bid just in time for the Jan transfer window. I am sure we're going to hear a lot more regarding Bruno Fernandes around the Jan transfer time, but let me know what you think. Um, personally, I mean, for me, I, I, I take this, and I think you should all take this if you're still listening, with a huge, huge pinch of salt. The Portuguese press has been very unreliable with Bruno Fernandes in the past, um, um, and I, I doubt they've changed the tune now. That said, as I've said previously, United really need to, 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 to sign midfielders. They do. And if United go on a run, and hopefully we will, if we're talking about strengthening in the in a giant transfer, Edward Wood should strengthen. He shouldn't see the sign of the fact that we're winning games as a sign. We don't need to strengthen. We need an attacking midfielder. We need a forward. We need a DM. And possibly we need... Um, Possibly we need a, a, a left back as well, possibly. But I would say the free, um, a DM, attacking midfielder, and a forward and right winger, sorry. Um, at the very least, a forward and attacking midfielder. We need those. Um, and so hopefully, fingers crossed, United submit the bid um, and we sign Bruno Fernandes. But I imagine United will be the only ones. Thanks again for watching, guys. If you like what you hear, please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, we unite X. Support us on Patreon as well. Really appreciate your support. And smash that notification button for latest Red Devil Studio Manchester United related news. Have a nice day, guys, and cheers.